Good morning, folks. Quite a number of can't miss stories to hit today. Episode 18 of Earth Catastrophe Cycle came out yesterday and included a call for you to make your mark on the series. But right now, let's go to spaceweathernews.com, find the last day on our star, very quiet. Solid coronal hole turning through here, plasma filaments dancing around including the one anchored to the active region incoming on the north. Solar wind is relatively calm, slight variability, and a phi angle swing. We're not able to drive geomagnetic instability, but we do have lithospheric notes as a powerful blot echo rumbled more than 360 kilometers down, and a volcano at Reunion just east of Madagascar began a new eruptive phase. More news of hailstorms in Asia, damaging crops and homes, causing major traffic jams and making transportation impossible in other regions. Switching temperatures of the weather anomalies as the UK is set to have a major warm-up that will challenge their heat records for this time of year, all while the snow totals continue breaking records in the Americas. Let's go right to illustrious, the dark matter and dark energy and gravitationally driven modeling of the cosmos, always a double-edged sword as the beauty of their visualizations does make it difficult to remember sometimes that this is indeed as far from plasma universe conceptualization as you get. It is clear that the recent revelations regarding electric currents, magnetic fields, and plasma turbulence, which have been coming out of the National Lab since Sophia's space-based mission determined those latter forces controlled the star-forming regions, is not at all included in the illustrious models. So I poked a bit of fun at NASA's first claim to snap a photo of the latest Chinese lander on the moon, but okay, second try is somewhat better. That's it. Well played. Last but not least, in a stark reminder of how poorly we see the cosmos, a massive stream of stars, like a river of light in the sky, exists within the stellar neighborhood of stars, and it was never known to exist as this structure. Some of the stars in the stream were known, but it was the interconnectedness and current flow of the system that eluded the scientists, although in truth, they still don't think of those flows and streams of material as current. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. Catch episode 18 and make your mark on the future episodes of the series. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.